Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is a favorites video. So the first thing's not makeup related, it's actually a body product. And this is the Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer. I, oh my gosh, this stuff is so good. So basically wet skin moisturizer. Okay, so it says after showering but before drying off, apply to wet skin. Use a dime sized amount on each arm and a quarter sized amount on each leg. Dry and go, no need to rinse, simply pat dry and you're ready to go in, in, with instantly luminous skin. And that is no lie, like no joke. I use this for the most part every time I shower. So I'll shower, I'll wash, I'll do everything it says. I'll turn the water off, I'm still dripping wet and I'll apply this all over the body, especially on my legs, like after shaving, it just gives your legs such a like luminosity, like it says. With normal lotions, you know, you have to apply them after after you're dry or after you get out and have already padded off and you apply it and then you kind of have to wait like a couple of minutes for it to really sink into the skin and until then it kind of is like this like weird uncomfortable feeling like of being like wet but you're not wet I don't know if that makes any sense but to me it just I hate the feeling of lotion like before it has sunk into the skin it just kind of feels like there's this like like film and it's just it feels greasy and I can't put clothes on right away because it sticks to my clothes and it's just not fun and I hate putting moisturizer on like let me just tell you I hate putting moisturizer on I do it because I have to but I hate it this stuff is so good because literally you're in the shower might as well put it on and then it dries like this because your pores have opened up and it really absorbs into the skin so quickly so that I have been absolutely loving you can pick it up anywhere I got mine at Walmart and it's like less than ten dollars which is phenomenal the next thing I have is a brush. This is the Luxie 660 Precision Foundation Brush. So I got this in my Ipsy Glam Bag um, a few months ago. It's amazing. So it's, it's kind of weird. It's like thin, fluffy, but it's like dense and compact. And it actually like comes to a point as well, if you can see that. So it tapered up, it's tapered up to a slight point here so it's really good for precision of like placing a product and then you sweep it and you can blend it out really nicely what i've been using this with is the nars laguna bronzer so i'll basically just literally like with the tip of this brush just grab the smallest amount swipe it back and forth tap off the excess and then i'll place it i already have some on but um i'll just kind of show you anyways so you place it kind of like right there in the hollow. Like I said, it gives you such a like precise application of the product and then it blends it out really, really easily, really smoothly. And to me, it just cuts everything really nicely and I love it. It's so soft and that's what I've been using it for. I mean, you, you can use it for whatever you want. You could definitely use it for like setting under your eyes or whatever, um, but that's what I use it for and I love it. I have another brush. This brush does not have a number on it or a name, but I know it is a crown brush and it is a tiny little fan brush. You see how tiny it is? This little tiny fan brush is amazing for applying uh, like a highlight under your brow bone. Because this fan brush isn't just like a straight fan, it has sort of like a little curve to it. It's really nice for getting right up under the curve of your brow right up under there and highlighting that and it's just so easy and gives you a precise application and yeah i've been loving it and um, i have never found really a brush that like blew me away for like highlighting my under brow situation but this brush has become my absolutely end all be all i love it so i definitely recommend picking this one up or something similar to this just a tiny little precision fan that has sort of like a rounded head it is phenomenal all right i've got two liners here this one i think i've talked about uh this one before in like I think it was maybe a year ago in a favorites video, but it has become a favorite of mine once again. So I thought I'd throw it in here. It's great for summer because it's an eyeliner that is such a like really pretty like ocean blue color. Like I'll show you. 
Like that color is so pretty. This is the ColourPop Creme Gel Liner in Bee Sting. It's so vibrant blue and I love adding it to my waterline for just that, that pop of color. And because I have like deep blue eyes, it just kind of makes the blue in my eyes pop even more. My last tutorial that I posted, I had used this and I just absolutely love how it looks with like a neutral eyed look, just adding that nice pop of color in there. The only thing I will say is I do not like the whole applicator because this this guy comes out. Like there's been times I've had to like pick it off the floor and put it back in because I love it so much I don't want to have to like spend time waiting to buy another one. So I'll just put it back in but this packaging really sucks. It just keeps popping out and it's driving me absolutely crazy. So I feel like ColourPop could do better on the packaging of this, but overall it's a really good product, really creamy, it goes on nicely, it stays throughout the day. This eyeliner is the Beauty For Real Eyeline 24-7 Eyeliner in Chocolate Fix. <laughs> it is a chocolate fix and I love it. I got this in another Ipsy Glam Bag a couple months ago. I was wearing this for like three weeks straight. Oh, this retractable crap too is <laughs> because I'm trying to wind it back down and it's not going back down which bums me out because that means I'm probably gonna squish it when I put the lid on so I won't put it on all the way but it's so pigmented and creamy and it just goes on super smoothly and I just love it it's really really chocolatey brown and I'll just add like a nice thin line onto my lid put some mascara on and I'm good to go and it just gives me something on my lash line without it being too powerful like a black eyeliner might be all right I've got a lip product this is the NYX intense butter gloss in apple dumpling it's super duper pigmented you guys like super pigmented this is such a pretty color it is like a kind of like a peachy coral it applies super easily I love the applicator on this guy it's one of those like flat paddle applicator doe foots uh, which is really nice it picks up a lot of product it allows you to have precision around the line of your lips so that it doesn't go everywhere but this lip gloss is nice because it stays a while like the staying power of this guy is really surprising I was shocked at how long it stayed even after I ate food I like it a lot. My last favorite, I saved the best for last. You guys know what I'm going to talk about. It's pretty much a given and that is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Collaboration Palette. I've had the whole month to play with this and let me tell you this is my favorite of the month, maybe even the favorite of the year. I love it so much. I've played with all of these shades. Like I've done looks on with the greens. I've done this look. I did a tutorial with this look with the purples. I've done a tutorial with the warms and um, I've used these colors like on a day-to-day -day basis. The mattes are a really rich, deep, creamy matte that are really blendable. The shimmers are very metallic and foiled. Like, okay, if I'm to swipe this one right now, like right here, you can tell that it's like a really like kind of pearlescent pinky shimmer. It's very metallic. But if you were to apply it like with a brush, it's not quite as pigmented you can apply it with your fingers if you're just doing a very like minimalistic sort of look but like where you might need a little bit more precision i would recommend a brush and spraying it down with some sort of setting spray um, for this look i use the smashbox photo finish primer water you could use the mac fix plus you could use eye drops you could use water use whatever you have on hand but it just intensifies the shimmer so much and beautiful the color selection in here too like i love how she paired warm tones and cool tones a lot of times you'll get a palette that only has warm tones so if you're wanting to get outside of your comfort zone uh you'd have to buy a completely separate palette from that whereas this you can do so many different looks from funky and fun to really neutral and everyday and it allows that versatility and it's so cheap too i mean for what you're getting there's 35 shades in here and it's 39 dollars so each one is only a little bit over a dollar each eyeshadow which is crazy 
crazy but also for the quality of what you're getting is just out of this world the packaging's phenomenal i've dropped it a few times and they've held up it's lightweight it's compact it kind of has that magnetic closure to it it's a very uh clean palette although it will get dirty easily uh, because it's white but overall it's amazing i recommend it and I, I just i can't say enough good things about it all right and my last product is a miss Wah, wah. This is the Catrice Cosmetics Velvet Matte Lip Cream and the shade is Rose Your Voice. <laughs> cute. It doesn't necessarily say it's a liquid lip. It says it's a silky lip cream with vitamin E for a gorgeous velvet matte finish and a nourishing feeling. Oh wow, that's funny. It's actually like almost identical to my little peach dumpling gloss. So first of all, let me just swipe it again so you can see. So one swipe, there's a little bit of inconsistency in how it applies. When you swipe it, it's not an even coverage, so you're gonna get some streakiness. It's not fully opaque on the first swipe, so you will have to kind of go over it a little bit more. So that's a downfall, but that's not even the worst part. So the texture seemed very similar to the Dose of Colors texture, uh, how, it, how it kind of like really grasps onto the doe foot, and it's kind of like a, like a whipped, thick consistency um, and it also smells like the dose of colors one so I was really hoping it was like a dupe for those it's a little bit cheaper because the dose of colors one is like 20 something dollars but when I applied this it was not matte it was not matte at all which is very odd because if it's gonna claim to be matte a mattifying product then it should do that but it doesn't um, and it also says it's supposed to be like ending with a nourishing feeling on the lips so, I mean, no matte lip is nourishing. It didn't really do anything for me, honestly. It wasn't, it didn't do what it said. It didn't do what I thought it would. It didn't do what it should have done. And I just, I didn't like it. As I do in all of my favorites videos, I have a giveaway today that I'm going to give to you guys. The product I'm giving away is this NYX Intense Butter Gloss in the shade Apple Dumpling. All you have to do is be a subscriber, comment on this video what your Instagram name is and also follow me on Instagram. That way I can reach out to you through Instagram and send you the giveaway package. That's all you gotta do, those three things. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please definitely don't forget to subscribe on your way out and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.